are now fucking with Hood Chart Radio. Yo, what up, we trapping out the bandwidth, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, people? It's your boy Fort Knox. We coming to you live. This is a special report. Black Lives Matter is a scam. I repeat, Black Lives Matter is a scam. Now, when I say that, I don't want to rile any feathers of the honest people that are out there truly trying to make change. But the truth is that you have been duped. The group Black Lives Matter and other social justice groups uh, that are coming to power at this time that are making national headlines are backed by liberal billionaire George Soros. Now, some of you may have heard this rumor and thought, ah, right, that's just a bunch of gobbledygook. God, ah, they're just trying to always, you know, put up some conspiracy. But the truth is that the three founders of Black Lives Matter, three females that actually came up with the hashtag, worked for George Soros. Okay, and his affiliated groups. He has the, you know, OSF, which basically funds a whole bunch of different activities, let's just say. The two women that disturbed Bernie Sanders at his protest were part of the Black Lives Matter movement, but didn't announce that they would do it until after the event. So it's basically like a free range group that has just spiraled out of control because anybody is just taking the hashtag and just doing what they want. You have radical elements of it. You have peaceful elements of it. But when you see these protests that are going on around the country, they're all organized and coordinated, and they basically are set to get media attention. You don't shut down highways unless you're trying to get media attention. Now, I know a lot of people are going to come at me in the comments and say, oh, you're a sellout, this and that. What I'm trying to tell you is you're the sellout and you're the dummy. If you don't see that these groups are being pit against police officers, which have their own problems, by the way. I'm not taking any side. I'm just trying to wake the people up. To have a bunch of young college kids who just so happened to just got out of college a few weeks ago, to all of a sudden be organized and galvanized and enraged over the two police shootings, which were tragic. But there's been plenty other police shootings. There's been plenty other events that have happened. You didn't even get that uh, much outrage when you dealt with Sandra Bland or Eric Garner. Yes, there were protests, but there weren't national shut down the highway movements the way they are now. And with the Dallas police shootings, which we got to on a separate video, which basically shows that there's something fishy going on with that story because they went from four suspects down. They started with two snipers, then it was four suspects. Now it's just one guy, Micah X. Johnson. And basically what we want to show is that Micah X. Johnson was so radical and so unstable that even the Black Panthers, the new Black Panther Party, kicked him out. They said he wasn't suitable. He was unstable. Some other groups called the Black Riders and Huey P. Newton Gun Club. This is all in the Daily Beast article, and you can look that up for yourself. I'll put a link in the description so you can read for yourself both claims that I'm making, that the George Soros group is backing, is affiliated. They may not be, they're not going to be directly sending checks to Black Lives Matter. What they do is they work around you. It's called the Little Big Horn. They, they supply you with different resources and different media uh, opportunities to get all of the coverage that you need so that all of the worker bees, which are the young people out there getting the tear gas in their face, getting arrested, getting stuff on their records, that down the line will be harder for them to get jobs because of the image Black Lives Matter is going to have in the end. And so what I want you to do is just wake up and think for yourself. If you're really against social justice, if I mean social injustice, if you're really against police brutality, then register to vote at your local level because the Republicans and the GOP and all of these other and even the Democrats for that matter. When is the last time you've seen some real social justice change, some real betterment of the educational system, some real betterment of even your potholes in your city that Democrats run the inner cities and all of the metropolitan areas, most of the major cities in the country, Democrats run them. And it's the Congressional Black Caucus that is really the opposition. And if you opened your eyes, you would see past the color and you would see the only color that matters right now is green. It's not black or white. OK, so like I say, think for yourself. Black Lives Matter has been put together for a certain purpose, the same way the Tea Party was and the same way the Occupy movement 
was. It's built as a distraction from the main issues. Do you notice nobody is talking about what Bernie Sanders was talking about just a few months ago? Free college tuition, income uh, inequality, you know, basically a $15 national minimum wage, free, a true free health care system. OK, these are the things that people can get right now that the millennial generation is going to need because the baby boomers are too freaking uh, numerous. It's too many of them. It's basically they're going to drain the goddamn system and none of y'all are paying attention. And what I'm trying to show you people is that you have to get past the black and the white and the usual uh, uh, things that we use as as distractions and start looking at Chicago. And the fact that over three, four hundred people have been killed this year alone in Chicago and there's no national movement to put a stop to that. The gang violence that's just spilled out of control all over the country. And I'm saying this as an African-American. If we can address all of these other issues, we have to clean up our house first. So until you guys wake up. And see that you're going out here to these protests. Are Black Lives Matter bailing you out? They bail their, their head people out. But are they bailing you out? Back in the 60s, when you had the SCLC and you had the NAACP and Martin Luther King organizing their marches, okay, they would bail their people out. They would make sure that their people were straight. You don't see the same thing happening here unless you're a journalist or you're within certain circles within Black Lives Matter. So a lot of the stuff that you're watching on television is all getting filtered out. If you want some real coverage of what's been going on, check out my other channel, Rapspiracy News, and you can check that out on YouTube, Rapspiracy News. And I have a bunch of behind the scene coverage uh, thanks to people like Unicorn Riot, thanks to people all over the world that's live streaming the protests behind the scenes and you're getting the real unfiltered coverage. So I'm not going to hold you too long on this video. This has been a special report and we'll do a part two where I'll put more pieces together. But know for now that I'm not blind, dumb, deaf and stupid and neither should you be. Subscribe to the channel if you like the videos and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Hood chart is on the case. Black Lives Matter is a scam and I'm calling it right now and you'll see by the end of the summer that I was right. Now, make sure you subscribe and, and make sure you keep your eyes open, stay woke and stay safe. Let's get it. 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 Let's get it.